Back in 2020, during COVID era, when I was starting out my career as a software engineer, my seniors told me something. They said programming jobs will be in high demand and will be irreplaceable. I am software engineer three at Google now. I have been doing this over four years, and I work with AI system every single day. But here's what just happened. In 2025, the CEO of all big AI companies said something that shook everything up. The future of programming is natural language, plain English, or say prompts. My seniors were right. but not in the way they thought and that brings me to a question that keeps me bugging if ai can write code do we even need to learn programming anymore think about it right now in 2025 ai can build an entire app in seconds auto suggest the code while you type gemini claude chat gpt and dozens of other ai tools can debug your code optimize it even explain it to you and the crazy part anyone can use these tools you don't need a degree you don't need years of experience So here's the real question I want to tackle today is learning software engineering worth in 2025 or in the coming years when AI can do so much of work without you that's what we are answering together so let's see what's happening with AI right now let me give you the real numbers this isn't hype this is what actually happening the adoption rate is insane right now in 2025 80% of the software engineers are using some form of AI coding assistant and i can tell you from experience it's getting better but Here's the important part. Only 20 to 30 percent of developer trust the AI output without checking it. That means 70 percent of us are still questioning what the AI gives us because at the end of the day, it's just a prediction model. You can't fully trust the generated output. You need to do a quick, fast check before quoting the LLM output anywhere. I use AI every single day at Google. Last week, I asked Gemini to help me understand, summarize a few documentation around some service implementation. It was very good at that. helping me understand in very simple terms hiding the complexities and fulfilling my doubts but can i completely trust it no because it can hallucinate at any time i had to validate the output against our system by skimming through those docs by myself at least once that's the real world ai isn't replacing us it's changing what we do and how we do and here's what ai is actually good at first it generates code fast really fast thousands of lines in minutes it can switch between programming languages without breaking a sweat it builds user interface uis it find bugs and it's brilliant at recognizing pattern doing classifications also as per my experience it is very good at evaluating things when you give enough context but ai has some serious limits it doesn't understand why we need something it needs you to tell the context it can't make smart choices about our business goals it doesn't know if something is worth doing in the long run and most important it makes mistakes it hallucinates it gives you wrong answer with full confidence according to a recent study developers are catching errors in ai generated code about 30% of the time that's huge that means if you are blindly copying ai code you are potentially shipping bugs so let's talk about the real truth ai as a junior developer here's how i think about it all of today's ai built on llms large language models these model learns from tons of human knowledge and internet data scraped it from all over when you give it a clear instruction they give you great results but the big decision the strategy that's still you think of ai as a junior developer you just hired a really smart one they can code fast they can solve problem quickly but you can't just hand them a vague task and expect it to work you have to tell them what to do how to do what you have to do is that you have to check their work you have to make sure that whatever they have written implemented is actually correct or not and that's the reality now ai isn't taking jobs it's changing what the job actually is so being a software engineer was never just about writing code never real engineering is about understanding what your users actually need it's about working with other people like designers project managers and business folks it's about making tough choices and being responsible for them the engineers who get promoted fastest at companies like google they are not the ones who code the fastest they are the one who think dp the best engineers take messy problem when nothing is clear turn them into simple smaller solution that actually work which is nothing but invent and simplify ai is changing things designers can now mock up apps without engineers people who are in coders can run data analysis marketers can build simple tool at least now ai is good at creating mvp solutions or prototypes it's look like they are losing against ai right but the answer is no we 
आर मोर नीडेड देन एवर नाउ तो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वाई सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स आर स्टिल एसेंशियल फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड ए आई फ्रॉम इन साइड मोस्ट पीपल जस्ट यूज ए आई वी नो वॉट्स एक्चुअली हैपनिंग इन साइड वी अंडरस्टैंड दी मॉडल वी नो दी डेटा वाइप लाइन वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट कैन गो रॉन्ग वी नो द रिस्क एंड द लिमिट्स नाउ ए आई इज इन एवरीथिंग एवरी एप एवरी सर्विस एवरी प्रोडक्ट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ए आई एक्चुअली वर्क यू हैव पावर रियल पावर सेकेंड वी बिल थिंग्स दैट एक्चुअली वर्क एट स्केल Sure, anyone can make a demo or a quick web app today. That's true. But building something reliable, something that works for millions of users, something that will still work after six months from now, that's different. That's what engineers do. We think about speed. We think about security. We think about what happens when things break or go wrong. We make sure everything is working as expected. Third, we are building the future of AI itself. This is huge. The next generation of AI. it's being built by software engineers right now we are training models we are making them better we are making ai work for regular people not just tech companies the future of programming is natural language that's not happening yet we have to make it happen and that's our job maybe agi can take our job what you need to learn now that's the biggest question so if you're learning to be an engineer today what's matter the most first learn the basics really well like data structures algorithms how code actually works These things don't change they are still essential spend time there master them second think bigger than just the code design system that work reliably reliability is very important pillar of any system that scale learn to think like a senior engineer ask these kind of questions will this work with million of users what if it breaks what's the impact of this change is this change tested properly these question if you ask yourself you'll get more understanding and you'll have a deeper curiosity of learning things around that third learn multiple things don't just be a back end engineer learn front end learn how ai is working L- learn something from ai engineers learn design learn how to talk to people about what you have built fourth work with other people learn to collaborate learn to explain your ideas this is what actually separates great engineers from the okay ones today your ability to communicate is as important as your ab- ability to code fifth use ai as a partner not a replacement don't hate ai use it let it help you code faster but understand what it's doing learn about llms learn how to make ai work for you sixth stay ready for the change tool changes language changes but the way of thinking that stays the same learn how to learn that's the real skill so here's what i want you to know when everyone can code a little bit with ai the people who truly understand engineering those people becomes a leader the soft engineers who win are thinkers who understand what problems actually matter builders who can connect tools teams and ideas leaders who can guide both human and ai the future doesn't belong to who over code fastest it belongs to people who think deeply adapt quickly and work well with others they don't just guess what the future will be they build it so if this resonates with you if you are thinking about learning engineering or you're already on this journey i'm making videos about this every week subscribe to my channel for more insights on ai software engineering and what not hit that subscribe button below to not miss the next video thanks for watching bye